All right, guys, there is one single strategy that a lot of people don't use. And we find that a lot of people just struggle in the matches. They play in the match and they cannot hold their serves for one main reason because they're not taking in consideration one of the most important strategies. If you watch past Wimbledon, you could have seen it happening. If you paid attention, you see what pros do on their serve, especially in doubles. If you didn't see it, we're going to tell you in this video, it's going to help your game. You're going to win more matches and you're going to win a lot more points doing that strategy. Wait, Sergey, we have something on our mail. Wow, what is this? Let me see. Functional tennis match journal. No way. This is so awesome. Guys, this is amazing. So this journal right here, if you look at it, it has all the steps for you for all your matches. It has pre-match, it has your goals, the keywords, suggestions, and match sheets for your matches. So every time you play a match, you can, you can look at the strategies. You can identify which spots you should have hidden. Uh, you could put your goals for the match. Uh, you can write out uh, technical things you have to work on or something you can improve for each match that you will be playing. Uh, and at the end, it gives you a little, uh, a little thing here with the keywords, the, you know, things that you can work on, like, let's say, focus, follow through, things like that. And you can stick it to, the, to your goal sheets right here in, in, at the end of the book. You can act, actually have some notes you can write. I think it's a very important part, especially myself as a player. You know, I'm still playing a lot of tournaments. I think this is something I'll be using myself because certain things will forget. Uh, in matches, we, we, you know, through the emotions we're coming out and certain things we just forget. So this is a great thing. I think it's, I'm going to enjoy it myself when I'll be playing. So you guys can look at the link be below and purchase that product. It's really good and uh, just enjoy it. So you're wondering right now, you're sitting there and thinking, what is Sergey talking about? Like uh, there's out wide slice serve, there's kick serves, there's down the tee, big serve, whatever, right? So. All the serves that people use 90% of the time are dealing with putting your opponent wide. So let's say if I'm on the deuce side, I'll go down the tee or out wide, and the same thing is gonna happen on the other side. Now, if you play, some players love it when the ball is going to the strike zone. They move really well and they hit really well on the run and moving to the ball. But now, there's one serve that a lot of people are missing. It's the serve down the body. Whether you're hitting body backhand, body forehand, or straight into the body. A lot of people don't take that serve in consideration. Now, if you're playing somebody who's really tall, 6'4", 6 6'5", 6 they're gonna be struggling. It's a lot harder to move away from the ball and hit the ball clean. But they do heal well when the ball is on the stretch. So, think about it. People, they're staying right inside of the court, inside of the baseline, they're trying to put pressure on you. You can use that serve to win points. And we're gonna give you examples and prove to you that it's gonna work really well. This could be a serve that you can use on important points or you can use the whole match if it works right away. So if you hit one serve and the person starts missing returns, they're getting jammed, you can use that type of serve all the time. We'll give you a few examples how to use that serve in the point play. All right guys, so I'm gonna have our on the side and we're gonna give you a few pointers of how to hit a serve. So there's a few types of serve. You can go with a fast pace straight into the body serve. Uh, especially in the players, they're staying right on top of the baseline, so you're going to jam them. They don't have enough time to move around. Now, the ones that try to, ride, uh, try to run around to use their forehand, you can do body backhand kick serve. So the ball is going to kick out to their backhand. They'll have to keep running around and won't be able to get around on time. Now, some of them that have a weaker backhand, you can go with the body forehand slice serve that moves towards their forehand. On, you can use it on both sides. So, Aritz is going to come out on the other side and we're going to show you a few pointers uh, and see how it works so you can kind of learn from there. So, the first point, Aritz is going to uh, play as an aggressive player that steps in inside of the court. So, I'm going to go big serve right into the body. So, it goes right into his body, flat serve or a little bit of slice on it and see what's going to happen there. So we're gonna go first on the deuce side. You can see he got jammed, his ball float up a little bit. You can go straight up again. And that's the way you're gonna receive a short ball. See, usually he gets here. So his idea, if your ball goes away, he blocks the ball 
and he can hit down the line or cross court. When the ball is coming to him, he doesn't have enough time. So let's try the same thing now on the ad side. So we're going to do exactly the same, just a big flat serve right into the body. There you go. Should put it a little bit away on the approach shot. All right, let's try again. Sorry, sorry, here you go. There you go. And that's how you finish the point. So second one is gonna be for players now on the juice side. So now you're gonna pretend like you're you're trying to run around it, like you're trying to cheat towards your back and low. So, with your forehand. Uh, so now we're gonna play against a player who likes to run around. So we're gonna go towards the body backhand with the kick serve. So we're trying to move the ball a little bit towards their backhand because they're gonna be trying to move that way and they're gonna get jammed. Hey. Hey. Like that, you could see he was not comfortable getting around. He got a little bit too close to his uh, forehand and he couldn't hit it aggressively. We'll do the same thing again. So you see the same thing, he, he was still attempting to get around but he had no time. The ball moved too much to, uh, to the left. Let's do it on the ad side. We're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna to try towards his body backhand. Whoa, here we go. This time, you see, I didn't kick it well enough, so it went towards his forehand. So I make sure the ball moves a lot. Like that. And then you have an open court right after that. Uh, now let's go back to the juice. So this time, we're gonna be playing against the player who likes his backhand more. So I'm gonna slice the ball to the fore, body forehand. So I'm gonna try to slice the ball so he's gonna try to get around to hit his uh, backhand and that's when we're gonna try to get them jammed. There we go. And we'll do it again. There you go. So you see that temp for him to move around his back end, but it's just not enough time and the ball constantly moves into the body. Let's do on the ad side the same thing, you can still slice uh, towards the fore and it's even easier on this side. And then you have easy put away out there. That was sick. All right, guys, uh, I hope you enjoyed our video. Also, if you like that product, it's an unbelievable product. So you can actually uh, find a link below. Please click on it and purchase that product. It's amazing. It's gonna help you out in your matches, especially with the strategies that we just used. You can track your records and make sure you go back. And things sometimes we'll forget certain things about our matches and it's gonna be all recorded. You can review it anytime and have a great improvement in your game in the future.